Hey everyone, so I just got here uh, to Universal Islands of Adventure and I uh, wanted to check out a couple of things. Right now I'm just camping out of U-Rest area, giving my knees some, uh, some rest. Um, I wanted to check out Seuss Landing to see if they've already got all the, the Christmas stuff up, which of course, you know, they probably do. Um, and I just kind of wanted to check out IOA because the thing is, is I've spent so much time at the studios with Halloween and everything because that's where most of the stuff happens Halloween wise. And Hulk's about to go up. I love how that coaster roars like it's actually the Hulk. You know, you, you don't get that. Like that's good theming in the sense where they took the coaster noise and they kind of made it sound like the character, which, which is unique. It's nice. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm just gonna kind of meander around the park. I wanna see how, how bad Kong is, see how bad some of the other uh, wait times are, maybe do a couple rides, and then uh, putter back home. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be fun day. Halloween is barely over. Well, to be honest, a couple days. We're into November. And the Christmas stuff's already going up. And to be honest, I really kind of love the Christmas season here at Universal. Um, the Grinchmas stuff's always really fun. And if you've ever actually got to meet the Grinch, it's a pretty neat experience. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do that again this year, considering, um, you know, the condition. But it would be pretty interesting to see if they could. I mean, there's stencil everywhere on the boxes, wreaths and stuff. They've just, it's like a craft store exploded holiday cheer all over the land, which is pretty neat. I mean, kind of gets you into it, but we'll see, we'll see how they're gonna handle the, um, the Grinchmas stuff. If it's just gonna be like pseudo photos or what they're gonna do, but you know, I'll keep you guys in the loop whenever I hear anything. Oh, of course. I mean, it's literally the whole point of this channel, right? Ah, uh, the joyous sounds of construction coupled with the Mythos soundtrack. Um, back behind Mythos to get a better view of the Velasa coaster construction. And they're doing a pretty quick job of this. Like, I want to say there's usually always crews out here. Minus like extreme weather conditions, of course. But they are just knocking this thing out. This track looks done. I, I can't wait to start seeing coasters on this thing. And that top hat, that thing just dominates the landscape. Like no matter where you are in IOA, most of the time you can usually see where it is. Um, it's just gonna be crazy. I cannot wait to ride this thing. Uh, I'm probably just gonna put like a time lapse at the end of the video of these guys working uh, from a different angle or something just so that they don't have some idiot with a camera just like staring at them this close. But still, they've got water barricades up to make that side of the lagoon a lot cooler. Well, not cooler, calmer, I should say. And but you got some wildlife taking advantage of it, just hanging out on the little buoys. Uh, birds chilling, looking for fish. But yeah, this thing is gonna be great. Now, Universal as a whole has a problem when it comes to balancing their parks. And what I mean by that is that they'll usually put out a lot of stuff for one park and kind of neglect the other one for a while, and it ends up making ticket sales at the other one suffer, which means they have to put something in at that park to kind of draw people in. And this is fairly common. We just got Hagrid's over here at IOA, and now they're gonna go ahead and put in this over here. So it's like, all right, well, Universal hasn't seen any love for a bit. What are you doing there? And that leads me to believe that if they haven't done anything major in Universal in a while, then that means they might. Um, especially with the closing down of the Fear Factor uh, auditorium. Now, right now they have it as a U-Rest area and they haven't begun any like de demolition or anything, but it's the only place I think they really could put anything you know, unless they open up more land or they expand something or, you know, take down another area or, or even just demolish the, um, some of the sound stages that they have, which are still currently in use. Like, um, in the Scarecrow video, the Scarecrow walk video, I, I actually stumble upon them taping stuff for the Oprah network. So they still do tape 
for Universal. Like they, they still use it as a film set, which is pretty neat. But still, it, it's at a point where they're either gonna have to update something or change something or just balance it out or else ticket sales are gonna falter. I guess Harry Potter Land helps with that, but I don't know, we'll see. So a lot of people thought that they were gonna put like a rock face up here to kind of like mesh with the Hogwarts theming up there. But it looks like they're doing just the regular paddock walls. Now there's some rock work along that seam there, which means that they might try to blend them together. Um, but we'll see. The speaker system for the Jurassic Park theme is not having a fun time. In fact, it is like the little speaker system that could, it keeps cutting in and out. It's actually pretty funny. Need to replace your speakers, Universal. Get on it. But yeah, it's uh, getting closer to being done. More lockers for that ride would be nice. All right, we got, we got normal fence, you know, hey, fence and trees and trees. And then, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> the rock work is so gnarly on this thing. And it's only going to get like more complex and detailed. Like if you look at the uh, promotional imagery and stuff, like you, you're dipping and bobbing and weaving out of these things. There's the top hat. You can still see it from here. Uh, I can't wait. This thing is going to be amazing. I, I'm honestly hyped for when they actually start running cars on it. So you can see them even over the, you know, the little security fence. It'd be cool to watch them go through the things. Hey, so just got off Kong, kind of just walking around looking at stuff and I noticed that Spider-Man's got uh, some facade going up right now about how uh, they've got set enhancements in progress. There's a bunch of people in front of it. So uh, they might be throwing on a new coat of paint. They might be changing some stuff. I doubt they're changing the ride. They're probably just cleaning up the inside key line and stuff. Um, or maybe redoing the layout, who knows. Uh, but I'm gonna go pop on it. It's only a 30 minute wait, like I said, so. Uh, yeah, it's worth a shot, see if they're doing anything unique inside. So uh, let's go take a look. So this is the extended queue for Spider-Man. And it's loud, they got like music and stuff going on. But it looks like the back end of the Daily Bugle with the different paint tanks and stuff. Actually pretty neat. I have never seen the extended queue before. Okay, and that's the day. Um, Kong was pretty cool. I'm on three of the five different drivers. If you didn't know, with Kong Skull Island, there are actually five unique drivers uh, with completely different personalities and backstories. Today I got Doc. Um, and you'll notice like when Kate, when you first get to the first show scene, she'll address them by name or whatever their nickname is. Um, so I just gotta get the other two under my belt, then I've done all five. Uh, Spider-Man, like I showed the clip probably, if not, I've inserted it at this point. Um, the whole front facade is, is under redecoration and it's up to the point where it's past the newsroom. Uh, the, they take you through the extended queue and then you end up in the, um, the room where the scoop is, where the big screen is where Jonah's going off and then the Sinister Six show up. But it's like one room before uh, and there's the Hulk again. You know, the same U rest area I decided to, to end the day with because it's close to the exit. And to be honest, it's usually pretty open. Like one of the better U rest areas, I want to say within the park. Um, but uh, we, we checked on the Velocicoaster. Like that thing is going so fast. I want to say the track's fully ready to go for that. Uh, it's. I can't wait till they actually start running cars on that thing. Even if you don't get to watch it, just the fact that you get to watch how fast the, the coaster's gonna go is what I'm, I'm looking forward to. Um, I wanna know if it's gonna have multiple launches. Like, I'm, I'm so stoked for that thing. It's not even funny. You can see it anywhere in the park. But uh, yeah, a lot of the Christmas decorations have already started going up over at um, Seuss Landing. Uh, Kong was a lot of fun. Spider-Man's getting a, a paint facelift, which is nice. It's just a lot of things going on that, you know, right after Halloween, it looks like they're kind of sprucing up this park. Hopefully they do more than just like the cues. Like I said, some of these rides are starting to show their age, like the rubber on the dinosaurs on the river adventures. You can tell for some of them where their joints are, it's, it's about ready to go. Uh, but speaking of go, 
I want to go. I want to go home. <laughs> it was a fun day. But I want to get out of here and uh, relax and uh, hopefully get this video up soon. Um, but uh, are you hyped for the Velocity Coaster? Because, man, that thing looks amazing. I'll wait till they hold it. I love how it roars. I'm not going to lie. When it's going off, it sounds like the Hulk roar. And it, it always gets me. Um, but are you hyped for the Velocity Coaster? Like, is, is that something you're, you're looking forward to? It's... Oh my god, the, 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 the top hat, man. When you're on the top of that thing, you're going to be able to see maybe even both parks. And that that alone is kind of stoking me. Because you can see that from everywhere. Um, almost. Like, in almost anywhere in the park, you can see the, the top of that roller coaster. So, it's going to be nuts. Uh, Alright, I'm out of here. I had a great day. And I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next one.